Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India to this uh, class of uh, modeling in, you know, in membrane separation process. So, what we did in the last class, we were looking into the um, uh, modeling of cross flow filtration and this modeling is applicable for reverse osmosis, ultrafiltration, nanofiltration, even for microfiltration. Now, in this class, in the last class, whatever we did, we formulated the governing equations and the of the of the uh, solute mass balance within the mass transfer uh, boundary layer and uh, next uh, then we we have found out that this is a problem of fully developed velocity profile and developing mass transfer boundary layer so we have written down the solute mass balance in a two dimensional form in the within the mass transfer boundary layer now in today's class we will be formulating the boundary conditions associated with this problem and then we will be looking into the solution and then we will see how the solution can be utilized for the prediction of the system performance in order to calculate the permeate flux and permeate concentration. Therefore, the uh, if you remember the governing equation was 3 u 0 y by h del c del x minus v w del c del y is equal to d del square c del y square. Now, we will be for writing down the uh, respective boundary conditions at x is equal to 0, there is a so called initial condition to this problem, c is equal to bulk concentration. At y is equal to delta, c is equal to c naught, again the bulk condition concentration or delta is the edge of the boundary layer, mass transfer boundary layer. But as we have argued in the last class that we are dealing with a system where the solute will be having very low diffusivity and hence very high mass transfer, very high smed number. And thickness of boundary layer is mass transfer boundary layer is inversely proportional to the speed number. So, therefore, we are talking about uh, a uh, boundary layer thickness, mass transfer boundary layer thickness which will be around you know, 1 percent of the total char channel dimension. In that case that we, we can see that beyond the mass transfer boundary layer majority of the channel the concentration remains bulk concentration. So, we can safely replace this boundary condition as at y is equal to infinity c is equal to c naught. Now, let us set up the boundary condition at. So, we need one more boundary condition on y because this equation is ordered to with respect to y. So, at y is equal to 0 we will be having the uh, at the steady state all the fluxes at the uh, to towards the membrane will be all the solute fluxes towards the membrane will be equal to 0. So, that will be giving you the V w c minus c p plus d del c del y will be equal to 0. So, the first term will be the convective solute flux towards the membrane surface, second term is the convective solute flux away from the membrane surface and the third one is the diffusive solute flux away from the membrane surface. So, now these three conditions will be setting up the complete definition of the problem and as you have uh, already uh, known that uh, we have already solved the one dimensional uh, 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 one dimensional problem related to the mass transfer boundary layer and we have already solved this. Now, if you can remember that the boundary condition of the two dimensional problem has now uh, was the uh, governing equation for the one dimensional problem. So, now let us try to solve this uh, set of equation. If you look into the governing equation, the governing equation is a parabolic partial differential equation and one of the boundary condition is residing at infinity. So, there are two thumb rules, thumb, thumb rules for having a similarity solution. variety solution to a partial differential equation. These are if the, the p d must be a parabolic one and 
parabolic and second one of boundary condition resides at infinity. If these two thumb rules are met, then this boundary this governing equation may admit a similarity solution. So, what is a, so why the similarity solution is so important in, in, in case of boundary layer problems that has to be very clear to everyone. So, uh, similarity solution is uh, suppose we are talking about a any uh, any boundary layer problem. Let's say we are talking about a mass transfer boundary layer. In this case, so the boundary layer grows over the uh, wall or the over the membrane surface. Now, if you look into the concentration profile, the concentration profile is 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 assuming the assume value is assuming c is equal to c naught at the edge of the concentration boundary layer or mass transfer boundary layer, and the concentration is c at the membrane surface, and this c m c m concentration of solute at the membrane surface will be a function of x. So, at every point you will be having a profile something like this and if you look into the profiles, the profiles are similar in nature and these are these profiles are called self similar profiles. So, whenever we will be having the self similar profiles, we will be having the self similar profiles in the case of all sorts of boundary layer problems, whether it is a thermal boundary layer, whether it is a mass transfer boundary layer, whether it is a hydrodynamic boundary layer, we will be having the self similar profiles for velocity field in case of hydrodynamic boundary layer, temperature field in case of thermal boundary layer and concentration field in case of mass transfer boundary layer. So, this self similar profiles will be this uh, um, uh, therefore, they will be function of y and x the delta will be uh, and, and uh, the boundary layer thickness delta will be essentially a function of x. Now, if you plot uh, concentration profile as a function of x uh, or, or as a um, uh, yeah, function of um, uh, y at y is equal to 0, this value is C m. Okay. It will be very high value and y is equal to infinity or delta, this is C naught. So, you will be having value of a profile something like this at a particular x location, this will be at a this will be at a particular x location, because C m will be varying and then this will be at a particular x location. Okay. So, now when we will be defining a parameter eta, which will be nothing but y by delta, then all these curves will be coincide uh, and, and they will be superposing on a single curve. So, therefore, uh, we will be reducing the number of independent. So, delta will be function of x. We will be reducing the independent variable uh, uh, x and y into one single variable that is the similarity variable and this is the also known as the combined variable. This combined variable is eta. So, whenever we will be plotting the concentration profile or temperature profile as a function of eta. So, all the curves will collapse on a single curve and we will be having a, a, a variation with respect to one, one variable only that is known as the combined variable or similarity parameter. And therefore, what is the final advantage of this? Uh, the advantage of this will be reducing the two, in the, uh, two parameter, two independent variable system into one independent variable system. In other words, we will be converting a partial differential equation into an ordinary differential equation. So, eta is known as the similarity parameter and similarity solution and the solution method is known as the similarity solution and the similarity solution will be obtained if we have a partial differential equation which is parabolic in nature and one of the boundary condition is residing at infinity. Okay. So, in this case also we will be uh, our, our problem satisfies that thumb rule and we will be admitting a similarity solution in this case. Okay. So, therefore, let us look into the see how to evaluate the similarity parameter. Now, similarity parameter can be obtained if by, by we let us do an order of magnitude analysis. Analysis of governing equation equation at the edge of the boundary layer.
So, so let us let us look and uh, look into the governing equation once again. Three u zero y by h del c del x minus v w del c del y is equal to d del square c del y square. So we evaluate at the edge of the boundary layer, and any boundary layer will be satisfying uh, two typical conditions uh, at the edge of the boundary layer. Whether it's a velocity boundary layer, thermal boundary layer, or mass transfer boundary layer. What are these? These conditions, two conditions, are known as the boundary layer conditions. These are basically at the edge of the boundary layer, the vari the uh, dependent variable will be assuming the value of uh, that of the free stream. For example, at y is equal to delta, c is equal to c naught if it is a mass transfer boundary layer. At y is equal to delta, c, uh, t is equal to t infinity if it is you are talking about a thermal boundary layer, and at the edge of the boundary layer. So, v u is equal to u infinity if we talk about the hydrodynamic boundary layer. Similarly, another condition will be satisfied at the edge of the boundary layer that is the gradient of the dependent parameter with respect to y will vanish. That means, at y is equal to delta del c del y will be equal to 0, at y equal to delta del t del y will be equal to 0 and del u del y equal to 0 in case of hydrodynamic boundary layer. So, therefore, will be at the edge of the boundary layer del c del y will be equal to 0. So, this term will be gone and let us uh, have a you know uh, uh, we, we evaluate the rest of the equation uh, at the from from the very beginning from at x equal to 0 to a small value of x. So, 3 u 0 at the edge of the boundary layer y is equal to delta. So, this will be delta by h. So, del c will be delta c that is occurring between the uh, 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 in the boundary layer and delta x will be x minus 0 if we start from x equal to 0 and d del square c will be again a sort of delta. So, if you really do a numerical uh, calculations using the finite difference method that you can you can you can see that del square c is nothing but a kind of difference delta c. So, this will be order of magnitude of delta c and delta um, uh, y del y square will be y delta minus 0 square of that. So, that will be giving you an estimate of how delta varies with x. So, this will be delta cube is equal to d x. So, delta cube will be nothing but h d x divided by 3 u naught and delta will be h d by 3 u naught times x raised to the power 1 upon 3. So, therefore, this will be the variation of delta the mass transfer boundary layer in this case with respect to s. In fact, delta is varying as a as x to the power 1 upon 3. So, therefore, we will be able to now derive the similarity parameter and the similarity parameter is we define eta is equal to y by delta. So, y and delta will will be writing as uh, u 0 over h d raised to the power 1 upon 3 1 over x to the power 1 upon 3. So, this will be nothing but u 0 h d raised to the power 1 upon 3 y divided by x to the power 1 upon 3. So, we if if you if you why we have put this term, this term will be will be there because if you if you include so u naught is a constant h is that geometry half height of the channel, d is the solute diffusivity which will be acting as uh, which will be assumed to be constant. So, the combination of all these parameter you can see that eta will be a dimensionless number. So, eta does not have a dimension the similarity parameter and now what we will be doing next we will be expressing all the derivatives of the governing equation del c del x del c del y del square c del y square in terms of the similarity parameter eta. So, in terms of the combined variable parameter eta. So, therefore, we can reduce the uh, so, there will be no independent variable x and y in the governing equation, there will be only one parameter eta into the governing equation. So, partial differential equation will be boiled down into an ordinary differential equation. So, now next what we will be doing will be deriving will be will be will be expressing all the partial derivatives in terms of eta or the similarity parameter. So, let us do that. So, del c del x will be nothing but d c d eta because since now c will be a sole function of eta, the partial derivative will become a complete derivative or total derivative d c d eta uh, minus 1 upon 3 u 0 
H D raised to the power 1 upon 3 y x to the power 1 upon 3 times x and this will be nothing but minus eta divided by 3 x d c d eta. And similarly, you can derive del c del y as u 0 h d raised to the power 1 upon 3 1 or x to the power 1 upon 3 d c d eta and second derivative del square c del y square will be nothing but one more derivative of del c del y. So, if you really do that the expression becomes h 0 u 0 y h d raised to the power 2 by 3 1 over x to the power 2 by 3 d square c d eta square. Now, if we substitute this you know the partial derivative in the governing equation and we will do uh, and, the, and if you remember the governing equation is 3 u 0 y by h del c del x minus v w del c del y is equal to d del square c del y square. So, I am replacing del c del x from here into this equation del c del y here and del square c del y square into this and then after doing a simplification the final version of the equation becomes eta square minus v w h x divided by u 0 d square raised to the power 1 upon 3 d c d eta is equal to d square c d eta square. So, we will next what we will be seeing that the partial differential equation has now boiled down into a into an ordinary differential equation. So, now let us tackle with this part of the equation. So, as we have discussed earlier that as the boundary layer grows in thickness, it offers more resistance against the solvent flux. So, therefore, uh, the thickness of the boundary layer initial part of the boundary layer that means, initial x location of the channel the resistance against the solvent flux will be will be will be very very less and one will be getting a very high solvent flux. As the boundary layer thickness grows in uh, grow, uh, grows in thickness, then it will be offering more resistance and the solvent flux will be decreasing. So, therefore, permeate flux or the solvent flux or permeate flux is inversely proportional to the uh, thickness of the mass transfer boundary layer. So, V w is inversely proportional to delta and we have already observed the delta is directly proportional to the x to the power 1 upon 3. So, V w is inversely proportional to the x to the power 1 upon 3. That simply indicates that V w x to the power 1 by 3 is a constant. Okay. So, we define a constant the, <coughs> the term the term in the this term V w x to the power 1 upon 3 including the other terms. So, this is constant h is constant u 0 is constant d is constant. So, we define the whole term becomes a constant and we define that constant as a. So, we define V w h x divided by u 0 d square raised to the power 1 upon 3 is a constant a. Okay. So, once we do that then the governing equation becomes now very simple d square c d eta square is equal to minus eta square minus a d c d eta. And now, if, if you if you see that we have since we have already observed that eta is a eta is a non dimensional parameter and a is also non dimensional parameter. So, if you look into the dimension of a let us look into the dimension of a what is the dimension of v w dimension of v w is meter per second and h is in meter x is in meter u 0 is in meter per second and d square is meter square per second. So, it will be uh, meter to the power 4 second square raised to the power 1 upon 3. So, this becomes uh, meter per second and this will be second cube by meter cube to the power 1 upon 3. So, this will be meter by second into second by meter. So, it will be dimensionless. So, they will be cancelling out. 
So, therefore, let us make the numerator uh, numerators the, the variable c to be non dimensional. So, we write c star is equal to c by c naught. So, therefore, d square c star d e t square is equal to minus e t square minus a d c star d e t. So, this becomes the governing equation of concentration profile within the mass transfer boundary layer. Now, what we will be doing next? will be in order to solve this equation, we need to have two conditions on eta, because it is of a second order with respect to eta and we will be formulating those two boundary conditions in terms of similarity parameter eta. And if you remember, we had two conditions on y. So, we will be converting those two boundary conditions into non-dimensional parameter combined per similarity parameter eta and then we will be solving this equation. So, let us do that. So, at y is equal to 0, if you remember c was equal to c naught, uh, what y equal to infinity c is equal to c naught, at y is equal to infinity means eta is equal to infinity c star is equal to 1. At y is equal to 0, we had v w c m minus c p plus d del c del y was equal to 0 c it was in fact c minus c p, but c at y is equal to 0 is nothing but concentration of solute at membrane surface. So, in terms of similarity uh, parameter if you really so if you if it do that it will becomes c m r r we can re, we can remove c p we can replace c p in terms of r r definition of real retention as we have discussed in the last class d del c del y is equal to 0. So, therefore, in terms of similarity parameter, if you substitute the uh, expression del c del y in terms of the similarity parameter after simplification, this will turn out to be d c star d eta plus a c m star r r equal to 0 at eta equal to 0, because y equal to 0 means at eta equal to 0. Okay. So, we have formulated the two boundary conditions and we have the governing equation. Now, the governing equation let us solve. So, d square c star d eta square is equal to minus eta square plus a d c star d eta. Let us say d c star d eta is equal to z. So, d square c star d eta square is nothing but d z d eta. So, d z d eta will be is equal to minus eta square plus a z. So, d z by z is equal to minus eta square plus a d eta and one in one integration will give you l n z. So, it will be z plus k 1 is equal to k 1 exponential minus eta cube by 3 minus a eta d eta and what is z? z is nothing but d sister d eta, z is nothing but d sister d eta. So, we will be having one more integration in terms of uh, with respect to eta. So, d sister d eta is equal to k 1 exponential minus eta cube by 3 minus a eta d eta. So, one more integration will give you the expression of c star as k 1 exponential minus eta cube by 3 minus a eta d eta plus k 2. So, these will be giving you the complete profile of concentration within the mass transfer boundary layer. And now, we evaluate the integration constant k 1 k 2 from the boundary condition at eta equal to 0. We, we, we have uh, at eta equal to 0, uh, we have d c star d eta plus a c m star r r equal to 0. So, what is d c star d eta? d c star d eta is equal to this expression. So, uh, this will be del window d eta there. So, we evaluate d sister d eta at eta equal to 0, at eta equal to 0 is exponential 0 1. So, it will be value of k 1. So, this will be k 1 
plus a c m star r r equal to 0. So, uh, let us let us uh, um, uh, 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 let us find out what is the value of c m star at c, what is c m star? c m star is c star evaluated at eta equal to 0. So, therefore, c m star is equal to at eta equal to 0 means uh, uh, we, we evaluate this x, uh, c m star at eta equal to 0 this limit 0 to eta. So, this will be from 0 to 0. So, this integration will be off. So, c m star will be nothing but k 2. So, therefore, k 1 plus a c m star is k 2. So, I will write it clearly k 1 plus k 2 a r r will be equal to 0. So, now let us look into the other equation. Uh, let us look into the other boundary at eta equal to infinity c star equal to 1. So, therefore, 1 is equal to k 1 0 to infinity exponential minus eta cube by 3 minus a eta d eta plus k 2. So, this will be 1 is equal to and this will be a definite integral varying from 0 to infinity if we know the value of a. So, if you know the value of a, this integral will be returning us some value. So, let us write down this integral as k 1 i plus k 2. So, I have two governing equation for evaluating k 1 and k 2 and we can get the expression of k 1 and k 2. So, uh, let us get that k 1 from the first one we will be getting k 1 is equal to minus k 2 a r r and from the second equation you will be getting I write k I replace k, k 1 as k 2 a r r i plus k 2 is equal to 1. So, k 2 becomes 1 over uh, 1 minus a r r i and k 1 becomes minus k 2. So, minus a r r divided by 1 minus a r r i. So, what we now require is that c m star, c m star is equal to nothing but k 2 and this k 2 is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus a r r i, where the integral i is from 0 to infinity exponential minus eta cube by 3 minus a eta d eta. So, this will be, so what we have done, so these two relations are extremely important. So, whatever we have done is that we evaluated the mass transfer concentration profile in the mass transfer boundary layer in as, a, as, a, as sister is a function of eta, which will be basically combined variable y in terms of y and x and, and eta is basically varying as y divided by x to the power 1 upon 3. So, we evaluated the concentration profile at y equal to 0 or eta equal to 0 in order to get the c m is in as a function of uh, uh, k 2 r r etcetera i etcetera. So, now in the in the next class what we will be seeing that how this expression can be hooked up with the uh, um, uh, transport loss through the porous membrane and then we can give, get the system prediction perfectly. Thank you very much.